Okay, so for the function generator, um, one of the things that you can take a look at here is just some of the different capabilities inside of it. And so if I come under the utility key, you can see the function generator is the first thing that's listed. A number of the other standard capabilities like the function generator are listed here as well. Um, and this is how you go in to adjust their functionality. What I have uh, together here is I just have a BNC cable coming from the output of the function generator going into channel one. And we'll go ahead and turn on the function generator. And a couple things that you'll notice um, when we turn it on. One of the first things is, is within the function generator, there's a number of different options that we have. So you can output a DC signal, a sine wave, um, a rectangle, uh, or a square wave, pulse, triangle, ramp. Um, so those are a number of the different options that you have available to you. And then within it, when you look at what is actually being put out, the scope will give you a quick overview of the signal that it's outputting. And then you'll notice a few of the key specifications here. So it can output up to a six volt peak to peak signal um, with up to a volt of offset. And for frequency, it can go up to 50 kilohertz. And so we can come in and adjust the frequency here and you can use a multi-purpose knob if you want to. Uh, the other thing that you can do here though is you can use this button labeled keypad. And on the keypad now, we could come in and let's say that we wanted to do something like 10 kilohertz. So I'd come in and put a one, zero, come down, hit the K and now we're outputting at 10 kilohertz um, on the signal itself. If we want to clear the display, we can pull that out and we can take a look at the waveform on the display coming out of the function generator spigot.